Okay, so today we're going to do a quick unboxing of this uh, King Shan TN1 series. It is a uh, little gift set uh, of four of these steak knives. This is the uh, barcode here, uh, the SKU for the item. Um, as you can see, it is a uh, very nice uh, little set, not too, th uh, not too thick. Um, very nice. So we're going to go ahead and slide this off right here to show the full set of knives right here. Uh, and as you can see, their, um, low, uh, their motto is beautiful function. And these knives are absolutely beautiful. Okay, so on the back, we have some uh, story about the uh, brand, the TN1 series. The four piece steak knife set and some maintenance information. Barcode again. Uh, the knives are made in PRC, which is basically China. Republic, uh, People's Republic of China. Okay, so they are uh, made with uh, Swedish uh, Sandvik steel, but uh, they are the knife is made, uh, or the knives are made in China, but with uh, Swedish uh, Sandvik. Um, a very high end, a little fairly high end uh, Swedish steel, which is very good quality. Okay, so um, I already cut this a little bit with my little um, pocket knife here. It's a San Remo uh, uh, pocket knife. Very sharp, tanto blade. I love this guy. Uh, talk about this a little bit later uh, if we have a chance. Okay, just get to the side. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick. All right, so we open this way, throw this over here. Okay, so you have the knife set here. Let's go ahead and open up this wrapping. All right, now you have nothing between you and this beautiful steak knife set. Okay, so let's go ahead and compare it to uh, my existing L1 series. Also King Shan, but these are German steel. As you can see, the German steel uh, X50 CR MOV15. That's the type of steel versus Sandvik steel here. Uh, the steel name is called uh, 14C28N. Let's see if we can get a little bit better. Focus. Nope. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. Move this in here a little bit. Okay, oh, this guy's very, very sharp. So between this knife, uh, this type of steel, and this German steel, um, the difference is that the uh, Swedish steel holds an edge about five times uh, longer than the German steel. They look very much the same, but uh, intrinsically that steel is much better here versus here. Uh, obviously different design, right? This guy's got a little rivet uh, design that's also very nice, but I love this. This is uh, actually a little bit lighter because it's hollow in the middle. Uh, this is full tang also, which means it's got metal running all the way in, uh, inside the blade. I mean the handle all the way down to the end. And then it's got uh, this riveted design that punches through to hold um, the material of the handle onto the knife. But as you can see, the design of the handle is uh, totally different between these two series. This is the L1 series, this is the TN1 series. Um, actually, the TN1 series uh, from Kang Shan, from my research, um, this used to be known as the N1 series um, with the German steel, just like these guys here. But that was a few years ago, then they moved, they upgraded the, the steel to the, um, the Sandvik steel, and so they um, named this new series the TN1, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and tilt up a little bit here, show you the little corner of my kitchen where I put my knives. This is the existing, the um, N1 block. So as you can see, I have no more space. Um, I am uh, going to replace this row of knives with two of these um, 
two of these um, new uh, steak knives. So let's take a look at how that would look. I'm going to remove these guys out. Okay. And first one goes in here. Oops. Second one. Oops. It's in here. And as you can see, the gift set has these uh, stoppers, these, um, you know, uh, protector stoppers for to hold the knives in place. Uh, they don't come out. They're stuck onto this, uh, you know, this uh, uh, cardboard um, platform here. But you can just take the knives out. You can just take the knife out this way. And you can just put them into the block that way. So let's go ahead and move this guy down here a little bit, put these knives in here just so I have a little little storage here for my gift set here. Probably going to end up uh, giving these extra knives to my uncle or some family member. I mean, they, they look pretty nice, right? Look at that. Awesome. Well, this is a little nook in my kitchen where I put my knife sets. Um, this is what the, the set looks like with these TN1 knives inside. I replace uh, that middle row with my new knives. Um, the shears from my L1 series. Um, the knife sharpener from my L1 series. Still pretty new. I just uh, got these uh, this set about uh, a month ago. Didn't actually get to use them yet, but um, so they're pretty new. But I saw these uh, TN1 knives and I just had to have them. But super beautiful. Love the handle. You know, and they're a lot sharper. Um, they stay a lot uh, sharper, a lot longer than the older series. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off this sound here real quick from my, uh, well, uh, it's not following my thing here. There we go. I could have given it some, uh, voice control, but my wife, uh, muted the microphone, so I can't use it. Anyway, so here's a little bit of, a. Uh, little tour of my little nook uh, of the kitchen here where I put my uh, knife set of course I clean it up a little bit but um let's move this back a little bit here okay um so yeah there's a little bit of a panning view of my little nook of the kitchen here okay all right, so that's that. I have an extra set of knives here, right? Um, probably gonna give it give it to somebody, my uncle, perhaps my dad. I think they're going to appreciate that. This extra set, they looks be they look beautiful, um, but I only have so much space on my knife block here. Let's take a look at that real quick. Okay, so let's get a little closer look at this knife set. All right, there's a, oh, I look pretty awesome, huh? Well, you know, um, the name of the brand is called Beautiful Function, and, um, you know, you're gonna have a set of knives in your house. Why not get something that looks uh, that looks awesome, right? Um, oh, hold on, let's move it a little closer. Get that better framing going right there. Beautiful. There we go. And that is it. Actually, let me show you something. The new set that I just got is actually. Pretty much just for show for now, right? I'm not really using this right now because they're so beautiful. This is actually the set that I use 
um, on a daily basis. Love this. The shears. Uh, this is a Zwilling. Uh, Zwilling J.A. Henkels. This is a sub brand of J.A. Henkels with a two person. This is a more premium um, uh, line of the Henkels brand. You can see the uh, this this guy's got a little bit of use here, a lot of stain on here, but you can still see the two person uh, logo. This is made in uh, Germany. Both the knives and um, the blade are made in Germany. This is a kitchen knife right here. Don't know if you guys can see that. Yep, made in Germany there. You know, the shape is a uh, typical German steel uh, kitchen knife, you know, shape. Not too fancy. As you can see here, it's got a full tang design that goes all the way around. All the way from front to back of the knife. And then you have your handle and you have the three rivets. Whereas this guy with the Santoku here, it's got... A full tank as well but you don't see it running through the spine it's inside a handle and you have one rivet instead of three on the other guy so still full tank still pretty cool but um yeah I mean I uh, I'm still using this knife set quite a lot this old knife set as you can see I still have my um, what my uh, chef's knife from about uh, 10 plus years ago where let's see if we can get a better view here okay there we go ever edge one person which tends to be the lower brand but this was an old set back then they were made in Japan as you can see right here so this is Japan steel. That's why it looks very shiny. That's just how the steel is polished. And um, it's got a lot of use. Um, you know, got a lot of dents right here. Um, plastic handle, you know, budget, you know, line. Uh, but micro serrated blade. So you don't have to sharpen them as much. But yeah, I, I love this thing. Um, I have a couple of things here. The chef's knife, just got it cleaned a little bit, still got some stain. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Turn off this guy here real quick. You can see the blade, okay. All right, um, and that's it. These are my, uh, actually the two sets of knives. Typically I put them in my, uh, kitchen like this actually so this one because it's newer I want to keep it a little bit um, closer hopefully I can get you know more use out of it right here um, and the other set is the older set but it's still uh, very much reachable to you know to use two shears pretty good but I love the way the new set looks yeah pretty awesome and that's uh, pretty much it let me pan around the little nook in my kitchen here got some cabinets up here all right um, that's it thank you very much